All right, look, things are getting stupid. And what you're about to hear is just a rant. Uh, I think it's a rant that's based in truth, but it's definitely a rant because this is stupid and I'm mad and I should be mad and you should be too if you care about the truth and if you care about the Jewish people because what's going on is crazy. Now, we all know this. With the increase of violence, oftentimes this goes along with Ramadan. There's a reason for that. If you want to know more about it, then you can watch the video that I'm doing with Olivier where I actually talk about why there's a direct correlation between Ramadan and violence, especially in Jerusalem. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm a biblical fundamentalist, and if I believe in the fundamentals of the Bible, I believe in truth, I believe in a respect for life, I am a worshiper of Christ, I know what the truth represents, and so as a biblical fundamentalist, I adhere to those. If I am a fundamentalist of the Quran, then I believe in lying, I believe in cheating, I believe in stealing, and I certainly believe in murder. Now, it's absolutely insane to me how we can see all of the different types of incursions that are being allowed to take place on the Temple Mount by Arab Muslims that are seeking to create a problem through attacking innocent Jews on a regular basis and in and around the old city. It's happening. It always increases during Ramadan. There's a reason for that. Yes, Ramadan is supposed to be a time of reflection, as they would say. Lie. Eh, Not true. But the reality of it is, is the violence has increased. It continues to increase. It is completely unwarranted. And it is being done at the hands of the Palestinians. And the evil that continues to carry forth is unprecedented. Now, for any of you guys that think you're just terribly educated on this issue, uh, not that I believe in immutable characteristics to establish moral authority. My mom and my dad are both born and raised in Egypt, and I think I know a thing or two about the Middle East and the Arabic language. There is a move that is unprecedented for violence against Jews and Christians, and the United Nations will keep their mouths open, but they will condemn the wrong people. The UAE is doing the same thing. The UAE happened to recently bring in a demand to have a UN Security Council meeting, a closed meeting, where they basically gone on to, in essence, condemn Israel for the rise in violence, uh, basically citing that this is something that's in their hands to control because they're the ones inciting it. That's, in essence, what they're saying. Nothing could be further from the truth. It's totally wicked. Let me read a portion of an article from allisrael.com that says, on Tuesday, the UAE summoned Israeli ambassador Amir Hayek and informed him of the, quote, country's strong protest and denunciation of the events taking place in Jerusalem and Al-Aqsa Mosque, including attacks on civilians and incursions into holy places that resulted in the injury of a number of civilians. Yes, the civilians are being attacked by the Palestinians in hopes that you fools, not the people I'm talking to, but the fools that continue to be a part of the UN and all the other nonsense that's going on, will believe that it is the Jews that is creating the problem when in reality the Palestinians Palestinians are doing it because they seek to manipulate the media. It's satanic. It's always been satanic from the very moment when we read in the Bible of Satan's attempt to want to destroy God's ancestrally chosen people. We three, we see it all throughout the scripture from Haman to Hitler. Let me just simply tell you this. It will never work. You can make every attempt that you want, but God says the Jews are going to be around for a long time because he's keeping his promises to them. And if any of you have common sense, anybody that is part of this uh, movement of politicians in the UAE or anybody else have any common sense, then you will support Israel and you will bless the Jews because only then will God bless you. That's the reality of it. And folks, we need to pray because we're in the last days and this nonsense needs to come to a stop. It's getting beyond stupid. It's absolutely crazy, and we need to start standing behind Israel. That's God's call. It's one of the things we're supposed to do. It's time to wake up, folks, because Jesus is coming soon, and I'm going to tell you, God will protect his people. I promise you that, because the scriptures promise it. God bless you guys.